Hello everybody, I have returned from my hibernation, but it's, it's good to be back. So there's a few reasons, you might wanna know what the reason behind this, right? Because there's always a reason to anything. My reason being is that I felt this negative energy inside me and I didn't want to affect the community. Like this negative energy is basically like, oh, he's he turns down everything like I, I respond everything so negatively so I just took a break from that and also I've been busy with real life I, I recently got a part-time job and that got me an idea of, of this thing about responsibility in real life so if you follow my Twitter I posted a while ago about having a student loan that to pay off and why not pay it off as soon as possible not to worry about it because my uh, previous plan was to do YouTube right because who doesn't want to spend the whole time playing video games and you'll have fun at the same time too because there's so much stuff to do in the Minecraft world like adventure puzzle the list goes on and on but if I kept on doing Minecraft the whole time like for non-stop then there's the the, the the payment I have to, to worry about and the earnings at the uh, the the retail store it makes my YouTube earnings look like pennies so what I thought is like hey that adds a lot of values to my life so why not continue on and add more value right because who knows on how high you can become but then the people say to always aim high and you uh, will get a, a lot of uh, rewards for doing so so that's what I did but then lately I thought of, hey, well, if I keep on doing this, I won't have time doing YouTube. And by the time I have time for YouTube, I'll probably be 50 years old. I, I would have like less energy in my voice while <laughs> commentating. Like the younger you are, the more energy you have in your voice. But by the time I earn enough money to make YouTube a uh, full-time job, right? That'll take forever. So I had to make some changes and that's where the retail job comes in like I heavily depended on YouTube to, uh, to make a living out of it but it seems like it's not the case everyone's not that lucky to do so but it is possible it has been done like look at the cube SMP they had they made uh, fan meetups they made each other like they're, they're a group of YouTubers that records with each other and they supported each other all the way through to the point where they met each other in real life and I want to have that experience. It seems fun, for sure. Who wouldn't want to meet their online friends in real life, right? Because my real, uh, my real life friends, they're busy studying. Like they, they are on their path of uh, on what they they want to do in real life, and I'm just here. Like, I, it's too stressful for me for to do all this uh, studying, and I prefer a creativity side. I have which is like the entertainment the comedy that I possess basically some of you may suggest that I branch off of Minecraft right because everyone's doing Minecraft nowadays uh, but I, I still have this thing inside me where I want to experience the whole aspect of Minecraft like play all the mod packs play all the adventure map there's so much possibilities to um, in Minecraft that's you can't experience the whole thing because it, it keeps on growing. It, I, th I don't think it'll ever stop because uh, the community is always contributing to this whole game. And also with me just focusing on Minecraft, I can give you guys the statistics on how what series is popular so you guys can focus on it so you guys can earn those views which, which pay you more. Alright, so another reason why I stayed away from the Minecraft community is that there's a huge age gap between me and the, the kids that play on the community. I don't judge that very much though because that's how I was raised. That's why you see my video has a lot of kids in them. I see everyone as equals. We, we all have a common goal of uh, enjoying the game of Minecraft and uh, exploring all the adventure or, or having a good time basically. Oh man. But however, society teaches us to judge though, saying that we shouldn't talk to adults because some of them are crazy and some of them might kill you. But that doesn't apply to everyone though, because everything has an exception. Like if I were to do that, I would just jeopardize my whole life, wouldn't I? 
Like, I would have a criminal record, first of all, and who would want a criminal record? That would, like, limit me to do other stuff in real, uh, in real life. Like, everything has a consequences. So why risk it? What is there to gain from murdering someone? And all this, like, I may influence you guys that all adults are not that bad, but what happens if you make the judgment of making friends with another adult? That's the thing. They cannot be good just because I am the only proof that I have a good side in them. If something were to happen to you and the reason is because I told you so, like saying all adults are not bad, but you hang around with more adults, but that's where the risk comes in. Some of us are bad, and uh, I, I wouldn't want to be the only, the, I wouldn't want to be the example, the exception for you to start believing in adults. And also people start to question why is there an adult in the kids community? Like I've seen a lot of uh, awareness basically, I've seen in my comments saying, wow, you, uh, you, uh, there's so much, like how old are these kids in the, in the videos? I'm being questioned basically on how I fit in in this community. Like, shouldn't I be uh, focusing on a job or something, right? Because most adults do have jobs and that's where the retail jobs come in. I, I can counter that argument with uh, the the job I have. They're right though, because I can't say, oh look, the other YouTubers, like the, the successful one, I can't say, Oh look, they're making enough money, so why can't I become just like them? Uh, but if you look at my views, they aren't that high enough, so it's safe to say uh, it's better off to have a part-time job just to support that argument. And my views at the end of August weren't doing so good. It wasn't the amount of views I was expecting either, because I expect to have like a certain amount of views. And if I don't reach that, then what's the point of recording for YouTube? Because for one, most of you guys won't be enjoying the content because of the low views, right? Because you need less audience. And also just, uh, it'll, it's mostly, it'll probably, it, it's like causing suffering to you guys because you're like, because you guys will be like, oh no, he's uploading another vanilla Minecraft, which I've already seen a million times. So why bother watching? And plus, I didn't have that much time to record either because I have the retail job, right? It's an overnight position, so it's basically an eight-hour shift, and I have to recover from that. And then I have school too, right? Because I invested so much in school, five years of uh, tuition. That's quite a lot. That's why my mom was like, if you don't do school, then what's the point of doing it for four years then? I'm like, okay, so why not give it a shot? But then I'm like, I don't... This doesn't interest me as much because of the stress, first of all, and who knows? I, I wasn't expecting to have a a retail job though, right? And if I do the engineering, which I'm learning at school right now, that's going to make my retail job look like pennies because the earnings I get from the retail job is making my YouTube earnings look like pennies. So why not aim big? But that didn't work out too well because in the whole month of October, that's when I was focusing on school, but <laughs> my motivation towards school didn't work out well, as usual. I just uh, watched some TV shows while being at it, but I think I, I can balance my schedule out. Also, my mind was like, why is there to gain from the Minecraft community, right? Because you guys are all underage group of people. When someone asks, Oh, what do you do for a living? I, I, what do I answer? Do I answer, oh, I play video games with the uh, kids online, but I don't have that support, right? Because I only earn like what twenty dollars a month. But if I earn more, I probably will if I work hard enough and focus on the the videos that earn more. I'll probably be there. And also the friends I make online, they adds no value. Basically, yeah, it adds a little bit of value because the, the there's that argument saying, oh, online friends are not true friends, right? Because you don't see them in real life. You eventually, you'll see them in real life when the, you are at the age you can where you can travel, but 
Unfortunately, that's not the case. I'm at the age where I can travel, but you guys are not. You guys are still in elementary school or high school where you have to study. So basically, I have to wait for you guys to be at A so we can actually visit each other like the cube SMP did in their community. Alright, so now that you heard of why I stayed away from the Minecraft community, I now have this mindset on of doing what I like doing, and that is to continue to have an awesome time in this Minecraft community. We don't live forever, that's for sure, so why not spend that time on something you love doing? So the plans I have for this channel are as follows, is to have like a community server, right? I have more funds now, I have extra funds basically. This retail job pays a lot, so... I don't mind working either because I had my fair share of uh, working as a garbage collector, right? Because I, I the, the, that's basically like the entry level position. And like I said, I had no idea I was able to earn a position at this retail. So I thought that it would be like high, um, like a, a middle class people that gets this job, but apparently they hire anyone. <laughs> so but yeah, basically I have a lot of funds to invest in this community, which I plan to do. One being I could yeah, invest in the uh, graphics card that I was uh, uh, also planning to upgrade, right? Because if you stay tuned in the past, I had a temporary graphics card. Which this one isn't that good, like it, it lags a bit. So that's pretty good to have. Also, I could invest in the microphone where you don't hear the background noises as much. Like you may have heard some background noises in this video so far. And also, I don't want to have like a the subscriber server, right? Like most YouTuber server have, like where they have a server for the subscriber. I want to have like a community server where you guys compete with each other, and then there's gonna be prizes to win like I don't know like gift card to minecraft.net so you guys can buy yourself like a minecraft foam sword some t-shirts cool stuff you know so that'll be fun or like minecraft gift code so that's like I, I know a lot of people do not have minecraft and uh, since I have extra funds right now I can make that happen also you, I, uh, yeah the this uh, investments you guys can basically, it's free money basically, just for being like awesome subscribers. And uh, how it works, I'll probably explain in our video, is just that I want to have like a point system. Because I love statistics, the numbers, I love how a thing grows, like seeing the number grows, it's really exciting. And um, yeah, it should be fun. I recently checked the comments of my channel and I received lots of intro requests. Probably 20 to 27 it seems. That's quite a lot because of how my uh, channel is doing. However, like in the past, I really wanted to do YouTube full time, right? Because uh, I was desperate. I could well do anything that it took to gain views and subscribers and it worked quite a bit. But unfortunately it wasn't enough though because, oh yeah, see, I uh, hibernated. It, it, if it was successful, I could have continued doing YouTube, but unfortunately it, it, it was not. But some of the intro requests, they're a couple weeks old, so I don't, don't think people would still expect me to do them, but some are one week old or less, which I could do them. It just takes a, quite a bit of time, and also it only pays me five cents per intro that, that I make, so I, I might as well do them, right, because I said that I'll do them. so. I would take quite a bit to do, so expect the intro to be done shortly. And that's basically it. I have something more, I'll probably mention it later in another video. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.